What's up? This is the No Excuses Podcast, brought to you by the Youth Collective. Welcome to the No Excuses Podcast. My name is Jaden. I'm a 12th grader. My name is Jalen. I'm a 12th grader. My name is Nia, and I'm a 10th grader. And today... We'll be talking about High School 101. So, first, 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 first. Now, tell us about your first year of high school so far. My first year of high school was okay. It was a lot of drama, but it was also fun. And I had to learn that there's a place and time to have fun and to be serious. No, facts. I completely agree with you. Like, in high school, you should definitely have fun because sometimes it's not that serious. It is. It is. I'd say for the most part, your first two years of high school probably going to be your most, like, heavy this year is. But the rest of them, just have fun. As long as you keep your grades up, of course. Start talking. Let's chat it up. I don't know. For me, you can't do high school again. Like you only got one sh- chance, so you should take it serious. But you gotta enjoy your childhood. Is that real? Cause I don't know. See me, it was kind of like I had to switch schools in a sense. Cause I spent two years in one school, two years in another. So it was just I really had to take in high school differently from other people. But for the most part, I try to have fun. So just have fun. That's why I say have fun. Thanks. You guys think that's the number one thing that you should do as a high school student? Just mm-hmm. have fun? Nah, I don't think it's the number one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you say is more important than that? Um, knowing who you are when you get into high school. Mm-hmm. I say know yourself for the most part. When I say like knowing yourself, I feel like just knowing some part, parts of you, mm-hmm. you know? Knowing, like, just because everybody grows as they grow up. Even adults, they still growing. But I say, come to high school, just know who you are so you can find your people. Mm. So you know who not to talk to, know who not to hang around. That makes sense. Yeah. Talk about, like, what incoming freshmen should do. Yeah, like, what did you expect from high school? Yeah, what did you expect going to high school? And what should other freshmen expect going to high school? I expected high school to be, like, serious and just, like, getting your stuff done. But majority of my freshman year was fun. Mm. But there was times where I had to put my foot down and just be serious and get my work done. And I feel like I had to stop skipping because I thought skipping was so much fun because... I was so serious in middle school, so it's like, my first year of high school was just like, let me have fun with it. Let me, like, try all this different stuff. I skipped, I did all of that, so. I can't relate. (laughs) (laughs) I can't relate. Like, my first year of high school, I did, my grades were terrible, but I still ain't skipped. Mm -hmm. I didn't start skipping until my 11th grade year. That's sad to say. I say it's sad because people, I mean, as you grow, the older you want to experience things, you know? Mm, And it feels like I've been experiencing things late. Mm. So, like, experiencing skipping is really not all that, to be honest. It's not. So, I don't understand why people do it. Even though a class still would be born sometimes. But, like, honestly, like, I feel like I started doing things that kids do late just for the simple fact of just my childhood and my past. We definitely do not condone skipping. We don't. Don't skip your class. Go to school, kids. Go to class. Go to class. That's what I said. Go to class. Learn. On time. Every day. Seniors, y'all do the same thing because I know y'all be trying to get out of class because y'all seniors not. (laughs) Facts. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try. Because, not going to lie, near the end of the year last year, I did not go to class at all. So, yeah. 
But let's talk about a little bit about John in high school. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that. For me, because I know that there's hella drama surrounding me. Not like me personally, but just like all my friends, all that. Because I be hearing stuff every day, all the time. But for me, I don't, I don't care. I'm not in it. I don't listen to it. I just live my own life. And I'm chilling. I'm going to say this. For kids, for y'all kids. No, for like high school students in general. Some drama is just not worth it, man. It's not worth it. It's a waste of half of the time. The drama y'all be getting yourself into be a waste of y'all time. Y'all could be doing something else. Literally. Oh. But I'm passing to the drama queen. Let right. her handle it. We got the expert on drama over here. Yeah. Drama's not fun at all. Like, it's exhausting for real. Not everything you hear is true. Also, not everybody's your friend because people will sit up here and make. Rumors about you. Don't listen to what anybody says, honestly, because I feel like if you feed into drama, then you're going to get into drama somehow, somewhat, even if it's not your situation. Facts, though. Yeah, that, with it. that's real. Um, I would say stay out of drama as much as you can, because for me, I just... Drama has came after me since I was in eighth grade. I mean, since I've been eleven, they haven't really touched me. Mm -hmm. But since eighth through tenth, I've been dealing with so much drama, dealing with so many people. I had to learn the hard way that people that you might know would be cool with in middle school might not be your friends when you get to high school. And that's right, because people change. People change. People are fake. People turn fake. But there's some people who stay the same. But nine times out of ten, everybody gonna change. Plus, bro, I swear, drama sometimes, they be talking about, like, the most stupidest, tiniest thing ever. Yeah, people be arguing over the dumbest thing. Like, I'm like, bro, go to class. Exactly, bro. <laughs> like, like, I'm in school right now. Like, what are you talking about? Find your people. I think that's a, the one that pe most people need to understand. Find and surround yourself with people who going to better you, who you can grow with, exactly. and who you can be your authentic self around. Exactly. So find your people. Find who you can relate with, who you can talk with, and make friendships with. Exactly. You know, like, people always say that, like, you're the average of the five closest people that you talk to. And I really find that it's true. Like, you really are your environment, and the people who you surround yourself with really impacts you. So, always make sure you surround yourself with people who, like Jalen said, make you better yourself. Yeah, because, like Jalen said, the people you hang around with can show people who you are, just from an outside perspective. Because you hanging out with all these people who not going to class, who not trying to get their education, who not, who failing. It might not be you in the inside, but from the outside, it's going to show people like, oh, so we hang around with Dom. So is he somebody that I can really put my work and time and effort in? Mm -hmm. When you can hang around people who are doing the exact same thing as you, and they can see you. All I say all about in high school is you want to be, for the most part, seen. And what I mean by seen, seen for who you are as a person. Not seen hang around trying to be the cool kid. Not seen doing all that extra stuff, just being seen as like, oh, you're that kid. You're that kid who minds his business, stays to himself, who does what they need to do, handle what they need to do, while still being their authentic self. And yeah, no, I just gotta say, like, I always find it so refreshing when I meet someone that's just, like, themselves. Because, like, in high school, I feel like there's not that many people who actually genuinely be themselves. They always try to be cool, try to be popular, like you said. What you think is going to be different about your 10th grade year, Naya? I'm going to be to myself. Um, I'm not going to be skipping like that. I'm definitely going to be in class, get my grades up. Because towards the end of my freshman year, I was just slacking. Like, I was really just having fun. And I don't feel like
like some of my teachers understood me mm-hmm. and I feel like some of them didn't like me mm-hmm. so it was hard to like pass certain classes so mm-hmm. this year I'm trying to build relationships with my teachers and try to get on their good side because I feel like if you get on their good side they're gonna help you to pass their class Nah, for real, though, like, I swear, like, prepping for this podcast, that was going to be my number one tip, is to, like, really, like, if you want to get by in high school, you just got to be good with your teachers. Because if you're good with your teachers, they'll let you do whatever you want. You know Mr. Hunter, the PE teacher? Mm-hmm. Since I was a good kid, for because I had him for two semesters, for the second semester, he just let me TA. I didn't have to do any of the, like, the fitness tests or anything, like the mile run, the pacer test, none of that. All of that was just because I, I was chill and I talked to him and I built a relationship with him. That Yeah, that's real. That's especially for athletes. If your grade's not up to par, guess what? You ain't playing for real. So talk to your teachers. Get close with them. Like, be, get, have a good, build a good relationship with them for the simple fact that if you do and you need extra help or extra work, they will have your back. They will, they got you. Real stuff, real stuff. Cause like I swear, like other people always think that like oh no it's my teacher, they hate me like they don't want me to succeed. But in reality, that's not true. Like the teachers are there to help you. Like the only thing that they want that's what they chose as a job, bro. Like they chose to help you succeed in your education. Like they want you to be good. So like don't even be intimidated or scared by like some of your teachers, cause. Some of them are actually, like, pretty nice. Right, they're cool. Explore. Explore. I'm just going to stick with that because I don't know why I won't go with that. But I say explore. Explore, like, things in high school. Because at the end of the day, you might end up doing something that you might have never thought you would do. Right. So explore, like, different things. Explore different clubs. Explore different things to do, sports, whatever. Just explore it because you might actually honestly find your people that way bro i second that because as this upcoming senior that's the number one thing that i regret in my high school career is not doing sports not joining any clubs and not doing whatever because like now i gotta apply to colleges in like two months i don't have a single clue about what i want to do like genuinely I could second that a little bit. I could second that. For the most part, I always it's athletes. I'm talking to y'all the most since I'm an athlete. When y'all get nice school, don't expect to already know what you want. Cause at the end of the day, it can change throughout the years of high school. Cause that's how it was with me. I thought football was gonna be the number one thing I wanna do. Even go to college for it. But now it's like I don't know. So I'm fighting with, do I want to go to football? Do I want to go to college for football? Or do I just want to go to college just to go to college? Keep something in your back of your mind if football don't work out for you. Just have a second plan. Because if you don't, I don't know what I don't know what to tell you, for real. Okay. And, oh, keep in touch with our counselors as well. Yeah. Counselors are the go. Like, they help you with everything. I feel like one way to better that though is truly work on your time management skills. Right. That's definitely one of the biggest things in high school that you're gonna like learn. Personally, I haven't done it yet, but like I know that a lot of people would be suggesting that, like to like use a planner to really like actually plan out your day and like set aside time to do work or do whatever. Because when I be doing work, I be taking like six hours just to do one assignment because I'm like on my phone. I'm, watching a video or something um but sure uh, procrastinators that's what we are that's what we are we procrastinate we know we be needing to ha- do some work we take our precious time with doing it so i say yeah really be really start working on your time management early because if you don't especially for procrastinators you will be stuck yeah. not gonna lie um, Once all your work starts piling up, then you'll be hella stressed. Hella stressed. Hella stressed. But that's where being friends with your teacher comes into play. I'm saying. Because, yeah, you a procrastinator. Yeah, you might have heck of work to do. 
But as soon as you talk to your teachers, boom, you be good. Exactly. exactly. They give you those extensions. They're like, I'll extend the deadline just for you because exactly. you a good kid. Exactly. Exactly. Um, another thing, take your SATs early. Take them early. Take them as many times as you can because you take them as many. That's something that I wish I would have done because now I go to my senior taking multiple until I can get the best score. So for the most part, I say take them early because y'all need that. Let's start wrapping this up. We hope y'all have a good day. This is the No Excuses Podcast. Please take we our end- advice. We ended it out like this. This is Jalen. Naya. Jaden. See y'all later.